Day six would be a busy one for the astronauts. Scheduled to splash down this day, there would be a final course correction undertaken to ensure a safe return through the atmosphere before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. But first, the command module would have to be reactivated. Aquarius Houston. Go ahead. Okay, uh, you're going to start uh, powering up the command module. Right now, we're starting now. Also, before they could return home, the crew would have to jettison the damaged part of their vehicle called the service module, as it was not designed to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. What the astronauts saw when they released the service module shocked them all. Copy that. We copied that report uh, from Jim Lovell of service module separation at uh, 138 hours, uh, 2 minutes, 8 seconds. And there's one whole side of that big uh, business. Is that right? Right by the high gate antenna, the whole panel is blown out, almost from the uh, base to the uh, engine. As the service module drifted away, the crew still had left to jettison their lifeboat, the lunar module they named Aquarius. Left jettison. Okay, copy that. Farewell, Aquarius. Okay, thank you. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 141 hours, 31 minutes into the flight. Uh, we've had lunar module jettison. Apollo 13, the age of Aquarius ended at uh, 141 hours, 30 minutes, ground elapsed time. With their command module back online and free from no longer needed hardware, the crew readied for the final leg of their trip home, a fiery re-entry through the atmosphere and a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. Odyssey Houston, we show you on the mains, it really looks great. An extremely loud applause as Apollo 13 on uh, main shoots comes through loud and clear on the television display here. The crew of Apollo 13 had come within three and a half miles of the recovery vessel USS Iwo Jima. The astronauts were picked up by helicopter and transported to the ship where they received a red carpet welcome and a congratulatory call from the President of the United States. For their part, flight directors Gene Kranz, Glenn Lunny, Jerry Griffin, and Milt Windler received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for their work in getting the crew of Apollo 13 home safely.